Hi and welcome to my newest tutorial about Java and Swing graphical user interface. So in this new tutorial I'll explain how to use a Swing component called JRadioButt. So basically where to use JRadioButton at all. Well you will use it when you have application with some options. For example if you have option gender for example and you will have two options, male or female. So you will use basically two uh, J radio buttons and uh, you will be able to select only one of them. So let's start with coding. I already created my new class and I created my main method with uh, all those stuff in. Okay, uh, first thing we are going to do, we will create a J frame. Okay. okay, now let's make a J panel. Okay, and now let's create uh, two J radio buttons. First will be like you will import J radio button from Java X Swing, of course. And the name of my first J radio button will be like uh, RDB, well, let's say green. We'll try to color our J panel when we click on one of our J radio buttons. Okay, J radio button. And uh, here I can pass a text that will stand in my J radio button, and that text will be like green. Okay, let me copy this and let's create another one button. And name of this radio button will be RDB red, for example. And text will be red. Okay, now let's generate our constructor, default constructor. And uh, let's add our buttons on panel first. Okay, you don't have to set flow layout for a panel because the default layout is flow layout already. Okay, now let's add panel on frame. Let's call set default cause operation method. Uh, well, the dispose and close. Okay. Uh, let's call hack method and uh, let's call set visible method. Uh, let's set that to true. Now let's run this application to see what we have at all. Okay, here it is. And if I click on one of them, you can see nothing happens. So we will have to add some kind of listener event listener on our buttons. And that event listeners will be action listeners, of course. And let's add them on both of our buttons. Uh, first thing will be green button. And I'll call add action listener method. And I'll create this, I'll pass this anonymous class. Action listener, okay. Okay. And for example, I want to color my panel to green. Uh, first thing I want to do, I'll have to do, is to check whether my button is already clicked. So basically I'll have to return a source where my action listener has been added, where action, action event has occurred. So let's create this J but, J radio button variable and let's call it source, okay. And to return source component, I'll call e dot get source method, and of course I'll have to cast that to J radio bot. Okay, so this returns us basically this a uh, radio button green. Okay, where our action event occurred. Okay, and now I'm going to say I'll perform simple check. 
So I'll say if source is selected, okay, I'll say panel dot set background color color dot green. Okay, except this won't be imported from Java FX, it will be imported from Java Alt. Alt. Okay, let's import everything. Okay, and uh, I'll also create a second if, if statement, and it will be if source is not selected. Selected, okay. Okay, if source is not selected. I will color my panel, for example, in white color. White. Okay. And finally, in the end, I'll call repaint method for my panel. Okay. And now let's do this everything for our RDB red. So this will be RDB. RDB red, okay, and this will be red, okay, that's it. Now let's run this to see what we have, okay. Here it is, our J frame with J panel and J radio buttons. So when I click my green button, it colors my J panel in green. And if I click it again, it will color my J panel to white color. And uh, again, if I click red, for example, it will color my J panel to red. But also, you will notice that you, you can click both buttons, which is not a quite good idea. Because, for example, if you have gender options, and if you have, uh, you have male and female, so that means in this situation, if you can select both buttons, that means uh, some person can be both male and female, which is bad course. So basically I'll have to make these buttons, so I'll have to put them in some kind of group, so I can only select one of them. Okay, and that group is called button group. And you will import button group from uh, Java Sync, Java X Sync. And I'll call my button group button group, and uh, that's a new button group. And in the end, I'll add my J radio buttons on my button group. Okay. RDB green button. RDB red. Okay. And also, you will notice that I'll not add my button group on panel because button group is kind of uh, abstract component. So basically, it can be visible, it just groups button, buttons. So you will actually, in the end, add just your buttons on panel. So you will not add button group. So let's run this again. OK, here it is. And now let's, for example, click green. And it will color our panel to green. And now let's click red and it will call our panel to red. But, but you may notice that uh, when I clicked on my green, uh, when I clicked on my red button, my green button became unselected immediately. So also if I click on green, my red uh, radio button will become unselected too. So I hope this was clear and this should be it for this tutorial. See you next time. Bye.